Good morning everyone and welcome to another video on Mr. Ong Math Lesson. Hope you guys are enjoying the last few days of your holidays and today we will do something different. We are going to play with numbers. So in this video, I am going to guess your mobile number okay, using mathematical calculation. You don't believe me? Let's go. This is something I found on the internet. But if you think that it is correct, please give me a thumbs up and so I know that it is true. Okay, so so the first thing you need to know, your mobile number must have 10 numbers for this trick to work. So if in New Zealand, most of the numbers start with 021 or 022 or 018. So put the number including the zero in your number. Okay, in your so you divide the numbers into three different sections. The first three number followed by the next three and the last four digit. If you are doing the landline, it also works provided it has at least eight numbers. If you have eight numbers, put another zero in front of it and then it will work. I don't think it will work for seven numbers because this number is going to be zero. So make sure you have at least eight numbers. I'll repeat again. If you have uh, nine numbers, put a zero in there. Uh, if you have eight numbers, put two zeros in there. Okay. So now the next thing you know, you need to take out your calculator. You can use your phone. You can use your computer and let's go okay so we shall work it out okay so the first thing we know that we're going to break them into the the phone number the 10 digit numbers into three different compartments the first one the first three numbers then the next three and the last four okay so first you enter the first three digit of the no, your mobile number in your calculator it includes the zero is zero one two or zero two one put zero two one or twenty one okay so then once you have done that the next step, you've done it? Great. Now we shall take slowly and we'll work it out slowly. Okay. Once you have done that, the first three digits in your calculator, now you are going to multiply that number by 40. So every time you add an operation, you multiply, you add, you divide, make sure you press the enter key or the execute key or um, the equals key so that you know that you are calculating each step of the way, okay? Different calculator have different functions. So once you have the first two digit, you are going to multiply that with 40. Have you done that? Great. Once you have done that, make sure you press the equal sign or the enter key or the execute key, then you're going to get another answer. Once you have done that, you are going to multiply the same, the result you found by 25. So first, you enter the three digit number, multiply by, uh, then you multiply by 40, press the equal sign, and then, then you multiply by 25, press the equal sign, and you have another number. So far so good? Great. Now the next step, you're going to add the next three digit number in your phone into the result, okay? So make sure you write it down so you know what is it going to be. So you're going to add the result to the, add the three digit number, the next three digit number into your calculation. So far so good? Okay, then you press, don't forget to press the equal key or the execute key. Now you have done that, you are going to multiply that result by 50. Okay, I give you time. So have, have a go and I repeat again. Put the first three digit number, multiply by 40, that is equal, then multiply by 25, press the equal, add the next three digit number, press the equal sign, and then you multiply by 50, let it equal. So we have done halfway through. So far so good? Great. Now we shall continue with the next six steps and we shall be able to get your numbers very soon. When you're done that, next step, add one to your result. And again, don't forget your equal sign. Once you get that, multiply the result by 400. A lot of calculation, but you'll be amazed by how accurate it's going to be. Multiply the result by 400. Again, don't forget to put the equal sign. Okay? And then, you're going to add the last four digits of your mobile to the result. Don't forget. Have you done that? Great. And again, you do the six, next step again. Add the last four digits of your mobile again one more time so you have to add the last four digit twice first and then the second time twice okay so far so good great last two step and then we will get your result okay the last two step you got the answer so far you are going to divide make sure you have the equal sign after each step make sure you put the equal sign once you have that result 
you divide that result by 2. Divide by 2. And the last step, you are going to minus 200 from the result, press the equal sign, and that will give you your phone number. Okay? So, the last calculation is going to be your phone number. If your mobile starts with a zero, for, like, for example, if 0 to 1, the zero will not appear. So, you only have a 9-digit number. Okay? So, if you have an 8 number, the first two zero will not appear. So, do this and tell me if that works. And thank you for watching. And to summarize, let's do again. If your answer doesn't get it, do one more step. Okay, so first, the summary, make your phone number into 10 digits. It has to be a 10 digit number. If it is 8, make sure you put two zeros. If it is 9 digit, make sure you put a zero in the first number. Okay, so enter the first three digits. Make sure you press the enter key or the equal key each time. Multiply by 40. Equal, multiply by 25. Equal, you're going to add the next three digit. Equal, once the answer you multiply by 50. Equal, plus one. Equal, times by 400. Equal, add the next four digit. Equal, again add the next four, last four digit. Equal, once you have that, the last two step, you divide by two minus 200 and that will give you your phone number please please tell me whether it works because i just found this on the internet and i want to make sure it works cheers everyone have a good day and see you soon